Good afternoon, Aggies, and welcome back to Aggie Now, your source for all things Aggie. I think we all remember how in the beginning of 2016, there was a growing national fear of the Zika virus. Uh, and over the course of the year, there was only like a thousand cases of it in the United States. And I know that sounds like a lot, but the CDC calls that an extremely rare disease. So all that being said, over this past summer in Davis, there was an increase in like severe reactions to Davis mosquitoes. Right, so people who normally don't have any adverse reactions to bites have had like swollen, angry looking blobs on their arms and shoulders and stuff like that. And the number of mad looking mosquito bites in Yolo County has led to growing fears of the Zika virus. But you know, it's, it's a mosquito borne disease and stuff. Yeah. But don't really worry because most of the cases of the Zika virus in the United States were like on the East Coast, specifically in Florida. And if that doesn't like soothe your fears, there's an easy way to avoid the bites. You just wear long sleeves or pants or use lavender oil or mosquito repellent. There's like lavender spray you can use in your house and it like keeps away mosquitoes pretty effectively. And I also read that article and they said any mosquito repellent, specifically it has to have deep in order for it to be effective. What's DEET? It's like a, it's a specific chemical that repels mosquitoes. Duh! DEET though, dude. <laughs> what no, and I also, is DEET? <laughs> no, and I also read the article as well, um, and only specific mosquitoes are carriers of specific viruses. Huh, I think and we I read different articles. <laughs> and I didn't know that. Like, there's specific mosquitoes, I don't remember the name, but um, there's specific mosquitoes that um, bite you, like that's the regular bite. Um, and then the Zika virus, it's a specific um, type of mosquito that's a carrier. So. And I feel like it also depends on the person. It does. Whether you're gonna react badly or not. Mm -hmm. I know I've been bitten a couple of times, like on my neck, on my arm, and mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not swelling, but my housemate got bitten a couple of times and they just look like really large sticky. Jeez. Well, ironically, I was actually in Florida. I went there for about like 10 days. She's a carrier. <laughs> and I didn't get any mosquito bites, but once I got back to Davis, I got bites like all over my body and they were like, like literally this big. Oh. Oh yeah, and then gosh. my housemate, she got a mosquito bite on her eye and her whole eye just like closed up. Oh and I was just like, what's that? <laughs> like really oh, bad. That's crazy. Yeah. So for Aggie Now on the go, Fall has officially started, so that means school is back in session. And as a new school year rolls in, so does a new group of students on our campus. So I went out to the MU and with our lovely videographer and interviewed some students, mainly first years, so freshmen and first year transfers, and some upperclassmen, and asked them their expectations for this school year. So let's check it out. Congratulations UC Davis Aggie football for the win against Southern Oregon. For those that missed the game, many players from our UC Davis football team excelled phenomenally both offensively and defensively. Key players such as Ben Scott who led four touchdowns which were brought home by Ramon Vargas, Keenan Dodge, Joshua Kelly, Ethan Hicks, and Matt Blair with the very nice 29 yard field goal highlighted a great start to the season. Great work Aggies. Great news for us Aggies, our very own Josh Fox signs a contract with Cheshire Phoenix. Fox was a two-time all-conference selection and the first Aggie to receive Big West Six Man of the Year honor. His hard work and amazing talents has landed him a spot on one of the 12 teams that competes in the British Basketball League. Congrats, Josh. Okay, a little sidetrack, but kind of a funny story. Um, I interviewed Josh Fox once, not as an athlete, as a person. Um, and I saw him another time at church, and he was taking pictures with all the little kids. Uh -huh. And I, um, I teased him quietly, like I wasn't planning for him to hear me. But I was like, hey, look at that, Josh Fox hanging with his fans. And then he turned around, and he started walking towards me, and I was like, oh no, oh my god, what did you just do? You are so embarrassing. And then he gave me a hug, he was so nice. Aww, that's so sweet. That is nice. You so, knew, very happy for you, Josh Fox, congratulations. You knew him in like all the facets of his life, dude. Like, in school, in sports, and at church, like, wow. Yeah. You must be a fan. But I mean, good people like that deserve success like that, so. Fair enough. Let's get one thing clear, freshmen, you're either gonna love your roommate, or you're gonna be kind of eh about it. This is what happened to freshmen in another college who received an intimidating email from one of their roommates. Just know that what I stated above is what I'm expecting once I arrive in the dorm, and I won't be in the mood for any arguing or other nonsense, 
because one of you two decided to deliberately disregard this email. Yikes. So what I want you to take from this is that whatever happens, you can always talk to your RA and figure it out, speak up, and let yourself be heard. Speaking of RAs, we have two ladies with us today. We have two of our very own UC Davis resident advisors, Lauren Rudowicz and China Oyola. So how would you approach the situation? I think that for me, when I see something, a situation like this, I think of a lot of different questions. I wonder where the different residents are coming from, why this resident is making these demands, um, and what sort of needs they might have. Um, they're saying sorry for their attitude or whatever it is that they're just going to make these demands because it's what they want, but maybe there's something else going on. Maybe they've never lived with other roommates before, maybe they're an only child and they don't know how to compromise yet, they're not sure how to communicate, and so they're establishing quickly, maybe they have misconceptions about how college is going to be, mm -hmm. and so as an RA, you're sort of going to mediate that situation and hope to open up communication between these residents. So what's a general advice you would like to give all freshmen coming to the dorms this year to have a good, smooth sailing year? I think, especially in relation to this situation, you have to understand that you will compromise on something, whether it's something small or something large, it will happen if you're living with a roommate. And even if you're not, you're living in a community with other residents who have to make some sacrifices to live with other people for a year. <laughs> what is like the biggest skill as an RA for like mediating conflict? What do you think that is? Listening. A lot of times they just want to be heard. They just want to know that it's like their feelings are valid, that it's mm. valid to feel upset because Tommy didn't like put the crackers away <laughs> and it's on your side. Like they just want to know that it's not ridiculous that they're upset about that when they have all these other things going on. So just listen first. Mm. That's the thing. Okay, so we have this thing called getting written up and I know sophomores and a lot of people who has gone through the dorm system know that it's perfectly fine. But freshmen can be a little scared of that. So what is actually getting written up? Um, RAs don't write you up because they want to scare you or because they're being malicious. It's because there's a community issue happening mm -hmm. and student policies exist, student housing policies exist for a reason. It's because if you're being too loud then you're disrupting other students or if you're drinking then you may be disrupting other students again. Um, so I think that the most important thing to understand with being written up is that it's not just happening because we want to teach you a lesson, it's because there's some sort of impact that it's having on other people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and understanding that like we're not here to be the fun police, we're not here to rain on your parade, we're here to make everybody feel comfortable and safe. You're spending a lot of money to be here, you deserve to feel safe. And if you are being documented, just be cooperative. Like if they ask you to stop doing something, if they ask you to give in your ID, just do it, it's fine. You being cooperative will actually benefit you more than like giving some sort of sass, because they will write that down too. So what's your strangest experience in the dorm? Oh gosh. <laughs> I think the weirdest, this might be like somewhat inappropriate, but like <laughs> they found like a condom filled with brown substance tied to their doorknob. And it was just really, I didn't really know what to do with that situation. I think the ones that were craziest for me personally to handle were alcohol poisoning situations. Because normally it involves a resident who is passed out, maybe they're sick, they could be in the bathroom, they could be in their room, but as an RA, you don't know if they're okay. There was one situation where somebody had locked themselves in their room and we didn't know if they were passed out, we didn't know if they were okay, we didn't know what the situation was. There were other people involved who were crying, they were calling their parents, Parents. and as an RA and you're trying to mediate this entire situation you're also calling the police you're calling the ambulance it adds up really quickly and then you mm -hmm. spend all this time Aww. writing everything down thanks for coming in here ladies thank you thank you this has been another episode of Aggie Now I'm Kevin Dusa and I'm Nika Bagahis I'm Sabrina Sanchez I'm Tanya Josephine thanks for watching ready 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 you need your teleprompter <laughs> same dude Alright, ready Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Yes.